coding is a way of making data more manageable uh, say user friendly so what happens is that suppose we have big data like 100 200 300 400 500 or small data like 0 0.15 0 0.25 0 0.35 on and on with coding what we can do is uh, make the data more manageable for example if you want to uh, make this number more manageable for doing statistics we can just divide by 100 and it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. So 100 divided by 100 is 1, 200 divided by 100 is 2, and on and on. So if we take this data and divide by 100, so we get this data x. So we can say x equals to a divided by 100. And this is a form of coding. We have made the same data into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the other hand, here what we can do, we can multiply the data with 10 and then subtract 0.5. For example, if you have B, if you multiply B with 10 and then subtract 0.5, we get X, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By doing this, what happens, uh, the calculation becomes much easier. For example, uh, if you want to find the mean of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, the calculation would be long. But if we want to find the mean of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's quite easy. So let's, so mean of X is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by there are 5 data so this is going to be 15 divided by 5 which is 3 now what we can do using coding we can just get back to the original one and that would be we know that x equals to a by 100 that means the mean of x is going to be the mean of a by 100 and therefore, the mean of x is 3. We send this uh, 100 to the other side, it becomes 100. So the mean of a is going to be 300. That's all. Much easier to calculate. And we can do the same thing with here. We know that uh, x equals to 10b minus 0.5. So the mean of x equals to 10, the mean of b minus 0.5. And the mean of x we know is 3. So this is going to be 10 mean of b minus 0.5. If we send this to the other side, it becomes 3 plus 0.5, 3.5 equals to 10 into mu of b. Therefore, 3.5 divided by 10 is going to be 0.35. So the mean of this data, b set, is going to be 0.35. It is much easier to calculate. Now, in case of uh, standard deviation, there is a little difference. In standard deviation, the addition or subtraction doesn't really work. So we don't have to worry about the addition or subtraction. All we have to do is worry about the multiplication and division. Let me show you. So of course, we don't really find the standard deviation without the variance first. So let's find the variance first. So variance is sigma squared. So 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared divided by 5 data minus mean squared. So the mean is 3. So this is 55 by 5 minus 9, 11 minus 9, so 2. So therefore, the standard deviation is going to be square root of 2. So this is 1.4. Now, in case of the standard deviation of data set A, it is going to be standard deviation of x equals to standard deviation of a divided by 100 so that means 1.4 multiplied by 100 and that is going to be the standard deviation of a which is 140 however in case of uh, b the standard deviation x is equals to 10 into standard deviation of b but there will be no minus 0.5 because standard deviation coding is not affected by addition or subtraction only uh, multiplication and division so that means it is going to be 1.4 divided by 10 that is the standard deviation of b and that is going to be 0.14 so generally speaking if you have a coding of suppose y equals to ax plus b that means the mean of y will be equals to a times the mean of x plus b but in case of standard deviation addition or subtraction will not work 
So the standard deviation of y will be a times the standard deviation of x. The plus b will not be there. And one more thing, in case of correlation, the coding will not affect the correlation. The relationship between uh, different data set would remain the same regardless of any form of coding. Coding means uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of the data to make it simpler. Suppose we have two data set, x and y, and these two data set have correlation r equals to 0.4532. And it has a regression relationship y equals to 2 plus 5x. Now suppose by coding we get two new data set P and Q and this is the coding X equals to P plus 20 and Y equals to uh, 3Q minus 10. What would happen is the correlation would be unaffected by coding. It would be 0 0.4532 exact correlation. But in case of regression what we do in order to find the new regression equation we just replace it by substitution. So instead of Y we can write 3Q minus 10 equals to 2 plus 5. Instead of X we can write P plus 20 and we have this new equation we can simplify and write an equation in terms of uh, p and q that's it by the way uh, it doesn't mean that all the time the coding has to be 1 2 3 4 5 i just showed the example and it is easier to show it as 1 2 3 4 5 but coding can be anything it can be any number it doesn't really mean that we always have to use the same type of coding and convert everything into 1 2 3 4 5 and the alphabet i have used a b x and also here y and x they are just randomly picked it doesn't necessarily mean that all the variables or all the symbols are going to be the same the a that i wrote over here y equals to ax plus b has nothing to do with the uh, data that I have named data set a and data set b so these are just randomly picked up so i hope there will be no confusion